Could you please give me a glass of water? Could you please give me a glass of water? Could you please give me a glass of water? Could you please give me a glass of water? Could you please give me a glass of water? Could you please give me a glass of water? Hello everyone, welcome back to another new video. First of all, I want to say you thank you because many of you subscribed to my channel, liked and commented to my video. So thank you very much for your engagement. I'm really happy for that. And today I'm recording this video because I want to share some tips and tricks which will make you a fluent speaker in English. So I know many of you can write English, know lots of vocabulary, grammatical rules, but you still can't speak properly. Many of you can speak English, but uh, you cannot speak fluently. And today in this video, I will share some tips or methods or techniques, whatever you say, to make you a fluent speaker in English. So let's get started. So first of all, you have to understand, you have to know the meaning of fluency. Fluency doesn't mean that you have to speak too fast. Fluency means you speak naturally, effortlessly. Okay. So if you want to be a fluent speaker in English, you have to follow some you know, techniques or tips. What I followed. So first of all, you have to do conversation with yourself. I repeat, you have to do conversation with yourself. Go to YouTube or Google search short English conversations or short situational conversation in English then you will find some short conversations so first of all please collect some situational short conversations and then play those conversations with yourself you have to make conversation with yourself for example now I'm making conversation with myself hello how are you Yes, I'm fine. What about you? I'm also fine. Where are you going? I'm going to my university. Do you have an exam today? Yes, I have an exam. How is your preparation? Or how about your preparation? My preparation is not so good. Why? Because I was sick last night. So here, you see that uh, I made conversation with myself. I played dual role. So you have to do this kind of practice, this kind of uh, conversation with yourself. It's a very effective practice if you want to be a good speaker, if you want to be a fluent speaker in English. So please collect some situational conversations, some short conversations. Actually, I have uh, created a playlist named Situational Conversations. I will be uploading some situational conversations in that playlist so you can collect conversations from my channel are on YouTube there are lots of English learning channels and uh, you can collect those kind of conversations from Google but one thing I want to say that when naturally you want to speak you uh, try to speak you have to speak okay very naturally but when you want to do practice you have to uh, practice too fast like you have to make conversations too fast for example Hello, how are you? Yes, I'm fine. What about you? I'm also fine. Where are you going? I'm going to my university. Do you have an exam today? Yes, I have an exam. How is your preparation? My preparation is not so good. Why? Because I was sick last night. So something like that. It's funny, but it's really effective. So when you want to do practice, you have to speak too fast. You have to speak too fast. Because it's exercise. It's not exercise. So you have to always speak too fast. You have to speak too fast. So believe it or not, it is a really very effective technique. It's like crazy, but it is effective because I followed this technique. So you can make some other conversation like, uh, can I talk to you? Yes, how can I help you? Uh, could you please tell me why the nearest police station is? Sorry, I don't know. Please ask someone else. Please ask someone else. You have to practice like that. Uh, can I talk to you? Can I talk to you? Can I, can I talk to you? Can I talk to you? Yes, you can. How can I help you? Yes, you can. How can I help you? How can I help you? How can I help you? Could you please tell me where the nearest police station is? Could you please tell me where the nearest police station is? Sorry, I don't know. Please ask someone else. Sorry, I don't know. Please ask someone else. So, it's not, you know, it's a practice process if you want to be a fluent speaker in English. So, then number two. You have to learn situational phrases and situational sentences. Okay. And you have to uh, follow repetition technique. Like, whenever you want to ask for anything, like uh, you want to ask for a glass of water. 
Then you can say, could you please give me a glass of water? Could you please give me a glass of water? So when you learn this sentence, you have to practice it like this way. Could you please give me a glass of water? Could you please give me a glass of water? Could you please give me a glass of water? Could you please give me a glass of water? Could you please give me a glass of water? Could you please give me a glass of water? Like this kind of practice, okay? So if you want to ask for a glass of water, you can ask for anything else. Like, uh, could you please give me a pen? Could you please give me a glass of orange juice? Could you please give me some books? Could you please give me an English spoken book? Something like that. So whenever you learn any phrases or sentences, you have to do this kind of practice. Could you please give me a glass of water? Could you please give me a glass of water? Could you please give me a pen? Could you please give me a glass of orange juice? Could you please give me some books? Could you please give me anything? Okay. So this is really effective. Okay. And so think about it. You are um, walking on the road and someone is in front of you. Then you can say, uh, would you mind moving a bit? Would you mind moving a bit? Okay. So by saying, would you mind moving a bit, you uh, actually you are seeking for side, okay? So you have to practice like that. Would you mind moving a bit? Would you mind moving a bit? Would you mind moving a bit? Would you mind uh, coming here? Would you mind going there? Okay, would you mind? So something like that. You have to do this kind of, uh, you know, you have to follow this kind of repetition technique. Then, number three. So number one, make conversation with yourself and whenever you learn any sentences or any uh, phrases, you have to follow the repetition technique. The number three, you have to collect some topics, some IELTS topics, okay. So go to YouTube and search IELTS topics like I-E-L-T-S topics. Then you will find some topics like uh, your favorite food, your favorite restaurant, your hobby, your favorite person, about your friend, something like that. So please uh, collect those topics and try to speak on those topics. First of all, uh, pick a topic like you want to talk about your uh, favorite restaurant. So collect a piece of paper and uh, you know write a script or write down some points. Then try to speak up on your favorite restaurant for five minutes or ten minutes. So try to speak those topics, IELTS topics for five minutes and when you want to speak try to speak too fast don't focus on mistakes make mistakes doesn't matter make mistake laugh about it but do practice and try to speak too fast try to speak too fast this is really effective process so first of all collect some topics and try to speak on those topics like you want to talk about uh, your favorite food or restaurant so try to speak on your favorite food then you can record your video your own video because you know, you all have a smartphone. So please record your own video and try to speak on any topics, okay? So I have shared three techniques. First of all, make conversation with yourself. Follow repetition technique when you uh, learn any sentences or phrases. Then uh, speak on IELTS topics. And the number four, always try to think in English. Because in general, when we want to speak, we think in Bangla, and we translate Bangla sentences into English sentences. But it takes time. If you want to be a fluent speaker in English, you have to think in English. But I say, please think in English, but it's not that much easier to think in English. Because, you know, you have the habit, we are the native speaker of Bangla. From our childhood, we think in Bangla. So now I'm saying, please think in English, and you start thinking in English. It's not possible. You have to do practice. So please start practicing. When you get time, please think in English. Like now you are sitting. Like now you are watching my uh, video. So please think in English now. Um, now uh, I am watching a video. I am watching English learning videos. I like this video very much. I will share this video with my friends. Something like that. Okay. So like uh, you are sitting. For example, now you are uh, sitting alone. So think, uh, today weather is very good, I love this weather, uh, a man is walking on the road, now I'm hungry, I want to eat something, I love pizza, so something like that. So always think in English. So please start thinking in English, so it's one kind of practice. So if you can think in English, you can automatically deliver your speech too fast when you want to speak. So those are four techniques. And I want to share another thing that when you want to follow those techniques, when you want to make conversation with yourself and try to speak too fast, or when you want to follow repetition technique, 
first of all you can't speak properly you can't speak fast like uh, when you want to speak word doesn't come sentence doesn't come so you feel some kind of pain it's natural because as i said is exercise so when you do exercise of course you have to uh, you have to accept some pain like in our body we have uh, muscles so in our brain we have muscles so when we go to the gym and do exercise so we have to get some pain if you want to make your muscle stronger you have to do gym and you have to feel the pain so if you want to build up your muscle brain to be a fluent speaker in english of course you have to face the pain you have to accept the pain so those are exercises so when you want to do exercises of course you have to accept the pain so if you start following those tips first of all you can't speak too fast but please don't be demotivated it's natural when you want to speak but you can't speak properly but still you're trying you're trying to think in english but you can't think in english you have uh, you, you get some pain it's okay it's really okay it is the exercise it's the process to build up your muscle brain so please don't be demotivated keep patient and do practice so that's all about today's video i don't know you like this video or not you believe it or not those techniques are really effective so if you think that those tips or techniques are effective please share this video with your friend who really want to be a good speaker in english and please like my video subscribe to my channel please do comment then i will get energy for making this type of video so thank you very much for watching see you some other day with some other videos take care